Shout out to the supporters of Tupac was lyrical. This right here is Tupac versus Jay-Z. And what we're going to do is go year for year on certain years. For instance, 1990, a song by Pac and a song by Jay. 93, same thing. 94, the same thing. And I'm only doing that because these are the few songs I came up with that Jay-Z was actually active in the hip-hop industry during the same time Tupac was active in the hip-hop industry. And it's up to you. Who do you feel is better? Because Styles P said Jay-Z is a better lyricist than Tupac. Although their style and content is totally different. There's no need to even elaborate on the differences. Many of y'all already know, but enough talking. Let's get into it. In a minute, you gotta get in it, breathing only when it lasts no sweat. I start on the step with these sins. Stop thinking you're making it, son. I'm breaking and breaking and breaking your tongue. Don't get caught perpetrating the cool ones. Bigger and bigger and better and better and baby, let's face it. We be happy, flowing faster than rabbits. Try to race it. The lyrical river, go right if even until it drops you. Crazy seek spiritual help from Jazz and Jay Z. Standing in all your soul, but that's some more. The rest will fall because if I'm more, just like on the board, you think it's a poor. We saw because we're greater. And we are the bigger, 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 and that's from 1990. That's a Jazzo joint called The Originators. Jay-Z and Jazzo ended up doing that song over or a, 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 new ver a newer version in 1999. The Originators, none greater. Jazz helped me finish the shit. But, um, but you see how Jay-Z was rhyming fast. It was technically fast. And um, this was 1990. And, and this early stage of Jay-Z's career without a record deal the songs you about to hear, Jay-Z was using that fast flow on a few of those songs until he totally really eliminated it in 1996 when Reasonable Doubt dropped and then he brought it back one more time, I would say on the Originators joint and probably even the song, Nigga What, Nigga Who. But now let's see what Tupac was doing in 1990 as well. Let's get into it. Tupac, go ahead and rock Now this. I clown around when I hang around with the underground Girls used to frown, say I'm down when I come around Gas me and when they pass me, they used to diss me Harass me, but now they ask me if they can kiss me Get some fame, people change, wanna live their life high Same song, can't go wrong if I play the nice guy Claiming fame must have changed now that we became strong I remain still the same, cause it's the same song And that's Digital Underground, same song That was uh, Tupac's debut into the music industry on that particular song called Same Song, going with the digital underground vibe, party-ish, and that, that's how he was vibing, that's how he got put on, and right before that, Tupac was doing, uh, uh, he was an entourage for digital underground, and mind you, let's not overlook the fact that Tupac came up with the Humpty Hump dance that millions of people were doing before Tupac even had a, even spit at a bar in the industry you know what i mean so he created a very popular dance so that was tupac in 1990 and that was jay-z in 1990 jay-z was 21 at the time and tupac was 19 there's only a two-year difference so who you like who you pick but let's keep it going Jay's about to show it. Well, come, can I? It's never a question of how, but when I rip it, will I quit it? Forget it, still I always a point whenever I hit it. Biting's forbidden, don't do it, y'all done it too late, y'all did it. Now straight up track, I'm running your back, back like back draft. Throwers who follow the track, gotta stutter, that, that nigga's fast. I pick up the pieces, I straighten it out like heat rock or seers or creases. It's your choice, Jesus Christ. I'm nice like that, you're freaking gay, right? I flow like water, so put your finger in the dike. I slam, I got original flavor, pick up the jam. I killed Chico, and now it's just me, the man. Go get your gun. I go all out with a can Brothers is having a hard time with who I am Jay kicking it, A, ripping it way past why I'm so crazy ah. And that's Original Flavor featuring Jay-Z 
called Can I Get Open. That came out in 1993. Now let's see what Tupac was doing in 1993 as well. And by this time, you know, Jay-Z was still doing features and, you know, on people's songs. This is in 1993. This song that I'm about to play is off Tupac's second album. from Tupac's second album Strictly For My Niggas on a song called Point The Finger and right there he touched on it a little bit the young Quaid incident the little six year old who caught a bullet in the in the brain and and it, it just madness it's just total madness right there rest in peace to that young man wow rest in peace to that young man but um that's what that's what Tupac was spitting and Tupac got busy on that track you heard Jay-Z on the last one still flipping that flash, fast flow. And then you hear Tupac on this one, which is just three years later from same song. And he's really doing him. He's not doing what Digital Underground would do. Now you're hearing more of a revolutionary warrior as Styles P would call Tupac. Type of music is what you're hearing. That's 93. Now let's go into 94 and see what Jay was doing. You ready? When niggas are shooting stupid, I'm carefully plotting Ways to make you rotten, well playing hits until you're long forgotten Y'all niggas that utilize my style don't hurt me Cause on the low, half of these rapping ass niggas wanna work for me Now picture me standing on somebody block Trying to rock, I drop bombs and niggas see me with that dope by 8 o'clock My feet never touch the concrete, just reap sweep rewards While you're staring on my dick, nigga, give me yours I don't have to with capsules, cause that'll make the grass grow And get a project, nigga, paid up the asshole If I'm a risk of risk, getting my wrist wrapped up in steel I'm out here trying to make a meal, my shit is real for real While others worship guns, I worship tons of money Tons of fun laughing at shit that ain't even funny So I ain't pressed to make a CD, I took it slow 80% of these niggas with deals can't see me with the dough huh. In my lifetime, I need to see I must say, Jay, Jay went crazy on that This song right here, I remember banging this song in 1994 On a doo-wop tape I actually thought it came out in 95 I think I still heard it in 95, but it said it debuted in 94, you know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, this song right here made me like, oh shit, who this dude Jay-Z? You know what I'm saying? Like, who this dude Jay-Z? Because finally, I was paying attention. When he heard, when he was on the Originators with that joint back in 1990, um, in 1990, I was such a Rakim fan, the KRS-One fan, the Big Daddy Kane fan, a Cool G rap. Like, I, I wasn't really feeling that. Like, even... Then when the DOS effects come out, boom, stickity, boom, stickity, boom. I think that was like 90, 91. Could have been 92. Somewhere around there. But I, I was never really a fan of that stickity, stickity, you know, that kind of flow. But that was just me. That was just me. And I think Jazz Zo is the originator of that fast uh, rhyming pace. But I believe Big Daddy Kane was definitely one of the first ones to rap fast on that shit like set it off let it roll get bold i just can't hold back the fold because i'm a man with soul in control and effects so what the heck rock the disco tech and this group is what next like kane used to rhyme fast as hell and very clear and he didn't really do all that stickity stickity until like later on I, I he displayed that type of flow later on but yeah in my lifetime that's what made me a fan now let's see what tupac was doing in 94 let's get it one of these days I'll learn to fuck with trick ass niggas Cause they turn into bitch ass niggas I'm sick of being stuck in the county jail My niggas clown bring a pound when they post the bail <laughs> Smoking blunts in the driveway My flow vibes come and fuck the police Boom and fly away Love till I die You wonder why I made this way I wasn't turned out I was raised this way I'm thinking these are the dreams of a young teen Scheme and stack cream off the of crack fiends One time came home man Back for the home is locked down in the penitentiary. I finally lose my. 
my mind if the pig sits me I'm stressed, smoking weed and nicotine But what a nigga really need is Thorazine Right before I die, I'll be cursing the law Reincarnated bitch, she even worse than before My phone phone's screaming payback My underhand the plan to get the niggas while they lay back And big stretch hit the scene with the mini 14 Serving suckers like dope fiends, it be the whole thing A depression nigga, <laughs> that's right uh. That's Tupac from the Thug Life album, Under Pressure, produced by the late Stretch. And Tupac went in on that verse. Just, you know what I mean? They went in on that verse. And uh, it's, once again, that's what Pac was doing in 94. And I just played what Jay was doing in 94. Now, there's another joint Jay did in 94. So let's get into that one real quick. Straight to the track, my lippers is fat, I rip it the fuck down Born in a fluke, I regularly reckon this shit, so what now? With so many brothers fighting, it's hard to detect to why B, well check out the J, check out the A, check out the Y, Z Original rap, I'm making it slap I'm hemming it up like that, stinging it, striking it, swinging it fat Bring it back, I be fat, nigga with a cat, coon clack Don't ever sweat it when I go, I soon back Better than ever, never better, you better, whatever I suggest the next slack, so now to get your shit together I give you a snotty nose from body blows, nobody he say fat a party, even got he goes adios I got, 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 flip, flip, flip yours, so save yours One verse and it's a hearse, I played and I slayed yours Get it, got it, ready to flip, I doubt it, don't need to put on Check out the man gone, I'm out And that's Jay-Z, I can't get with that in 1994 Now in 1994, I was rocking meth I was definitely rocking Biggie Smalls, Ready to Die And Biggie, on his debut album, he ain't do none of that fast flow stuff you know what I mean? I was definitely rocking with Pac, of course, because he had the Thug Life album out at that time. And Pac was kind of in New York a little bit. You, you'll see on the next joint that I'm about to, you know, play that's going to compare to what what uh, uh, what Tupac was also doing in 1994. And you you hear how Jay-Z was utilizing that fast flow since 1990 for the for the next four years. By the time Reasonable Doubt came... You ain't really hear that on there. Somebody eventually told him like, nah, you, you gotta you gotta let that go. Because those those rappers and I can't forget in ninety four Illmatic, you know, so the rappers that was getting on, that was getting shine, they wasn't rhyming like that. They wasn't rhyming fast like that. You know what I'm saying? Even um Das Effects by the time their second album, they wasn't doing that iggity iggity stuff like that. I'm not saying that's the same type of stuff that Jay and Jazz O was doing, but I'm just saying like you know, niggas wasn't really that animated, you know what I'm saying, as much. Nevertheless, let's get into this final one, and let's see what T Tupac was doing in 94. I know I bleed forever thugging on a quest to get G's Running from enemies ever since the days of the sea I'm under pressure, the stress of had me drinking Thinking niggas after me, much too paranoid to blink Wonder why the police don't want to see stacking G's They after a blink, but I won't let them catch me I gotta thank the Lord for the weed and the nicotine I can't sleep, close my eyes and see wicked things I keep my pistol by my bedside One in the chamber, preoccupied with homicide My life's in danger, rolling down a full five Beware strangers, hand on my phone that's what the pain does I'm probably wrong, but I'll never know until I'm gone From out the gutter where the jealous motherfuckers roam Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me Before the penitentiary, let's get it on That's what Tupac was doing in 94 Now look at the elevation of Tupac from the same song And you see how he came You wouldn't think Tupac was going to be nothing like the way he became Just in the, the soon to come years you know what I mean? Whiffing the same song the following year when he did Trap. You wouldn't even think, you know, Tupac would go from that to that unless you really followed Tupac's uh, music career like that. I would have did a joint from 89. I really thought Jay-Z was spitting on Hawaiian Sophie, but I think he was just in the video. But if he was, if, if Jay would have had a verse for Hawaiian Sophie, I was going to play Tupac's verse from Pan uh, Panther Power because Tupac went crazy on that. Tupac went crazy on that. And um, but you see how uh, Tupac, in my opinion, elevated with each within within those years, Tupac elevated from same song. And then we go directly to 93. 
because I couldn't find no songs from Jay from 91 to 92. I based this on what Jay was doing in those years. In between those years of Tupac being active, that's what I based that's that's what I based it on when Jay was uh active, you know what I mean? So when Jay in 93 he was doing that, once again Jay had the fast flow. You know what I mean? If you really listen, you were spitting and stuff like that. But in 93, Mob Deep was out. You know what I'm saying? Red Man was out. Wu-Tang was out. Like, dudes wasn't really feeling that kind of style. And this is probably why it was hard for Jay to get on. You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes was probably like, nah, nah, nah. And, he, and Jay probably wanted to roll with that because it was so different from what everybody else was doing. But, you know what I mean? It didn't. It, Jay ended up eventually rhyming like himself. But sort of like what everybody else was doing once Reasonable Doubt dropped. And then when he came out in 94, I can't get with that. He was like, you get the J, you get the wait. He still had it. And then the other song, um, In My Lifetime, you know, you still had that fast flow and stuff like that. But you could still hear him spitting some stuff on some hustling tip. You could still hear him fitting, spitting, but that flow. You know what I mean? He still had that flow, that speed flow and uh it, it was starting to go down a little bit, and then, you know what I mean, he got rid of it. With Tupac, same song, to pointing the finger, and Tupac talking about the shootout that happened at the Marin City and stuff like that, and the way he was flowing on that, and the production of that one was, uh, was decent, you know what I mean? Strictly For My Niggas is a good album, not one of my favorites because of the beats, because of the beats. I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? You know, but keep your head up. I get around Streets of Death Row. Holla if you hear me. I, you know, I kind of like those, but I didn't like all the beats on Strictly For My Niggas, but I liked the content that Tupac was bringing. And then in 94, we had Under Pressure, and Pac just went crazy on that with, with Stretch, and that's a New York beat. One of these days I've learned to fuck with trick ass niggas cause they turn into bitch ass niggas. I'm sick of being stuck in the, like he went crazy on that beat. You know what I'm saying? And then finally, let's get it on. He was rhyming with Heavy D and he was rhyming with Grand Pooba and he was rhyming with B.I.G. That's some more, some more New York shit. You know what I mean? Until Pac would have really got on some New York shit if he ain't get shot in New York. Because Deadly Combination just definitely shows that Pac was just about to show niggas like how dope he really is and he still showed you how dope he is but it, there was a whole nother angle there was a whole nother attitude there was a whole different type of Tupac so this goes when two when people say Jay-Z was the better lyricist and I say how is that you know what I mean you know I even had to do some little research just to see so that's up to you so for the haters out there or for the lovers out there who do you think was sounding good in 1990, 93, and those two joints that came out in 94? You know what I mean? Yeah, we could have went to 96 and did All Eyes On Me joint against a Reasonable Doubt joint. But, you know, that Jay-Z finally debuted. He finally came into the industry. And it was he came out two months before uh, Tupac passed away. So I just felt like there wasn't really no need, no point of doing that you know what i mean and by then you just see that these two dudes uh jay-z being older only by two years the content was always different these dudes was not the same tupac basically showed you i am not that same dude from digital underground same song so there you go tupac versus jay-z